Yo, how are we doing everybody? So today I'm doing a guide on the fight versus Gladys and Helio. These two are basically a more advanced version of the boss fight from the beginning of the game, Celine and Dag. But uh, yeah, let's check this out. Alright, so there's a lot going on in this fight. Let's start off by taking a look at old Helio. So this guy here, a decent amount of HP. He also has a couple of counters. If we physically attack him, he'll regenerate. And if we magically attack him, he can banish from my entire team. So I need to be carry, uh, careful of that. With Elvis here, I'm just going to be using Hurt So Bad, buffing my physical attackers. As they're the ones that are going to be doing the damage to Helio over here. We're just going to be using good old Neo Cross Slash. <laughs> Not quite the damage I was looking for. Alright, one step ahead. So, this ability from Gladys is very difficult. That is a counter stance where effectively if I attack into Helio, I will be punished for doing so. But, if you have counter savvy, you can just avoid those attacks, no problem. Alright, so, again, the idea here is just to try to stay on top of, uh, my buffs and HP. It's a little bit to manage these resources. Not too bad, though. Um, I should also take a look at Gladys, so... He is definitely way tankier than her ally. He has quite a few counters. If I default, she gains BP. If I do physical damage to her, she counters, like, a physical attack. And then if I use a magical attack, she also gains BP. So there's a lot of things that I have to keep in mind while doing this battle. Alright, there's Banishra. Um, I do have some light resistance, so I'm not taking as much damage as I could. There's different um, gear, both uh, in the chest piece and accessories that can keep you safe around this level. I can't remember exactly where <laughs> to obtain everything. But yeah, do make sure you check the uh, most recent shop and see that you have light resistance. Because it can uh, be very, very useful. Alright, let's see. HP's getting a little bit low. I think I'll go ahead and use Benediction here and Kiraga. Because I have uh, better than ever on my party members here. So their max HP is able to increase. Now, let me try just using the regular crosscut. I think my... Uh, Accuracy is not as high as I need it to be able to land the more powerful version. Alright, there's one step ahead again. But as long as I have counter savvy and I'm only physically attacking. And then yeah, the guest character can also activate the uh, counters there. Which is quite unfortunate. It's just giving BP to my opponent. So yeah, she's at max BP right now. So that's a little bit of a problem. She can hurt really, really bad. Alright, yeah, she's going to use her attacks here. Solid Stance. So, Solid Stance makes it so that each one of her attack commands can come out as two attacks. Yeah, Seth is going to die there. I was trying to <laughs> waylay this with Gloria, but unfortunately Gloria didn't get to take her turn. Alright, that being the case, let's just go ahead and Phoenix down Seth. Gonna bring him back. And Elvis, if you would be so kind as to heal yourself... And heal Seth over there. Alright, let's check. Yeah, she's at 2 BP, so I think I could get another attack off. Yeah, since they're defaulting, I'm just going to use the Gift of Courage on Adele. Give her more BP. Right here, I'm going to go for the Kiraga. Everyone's at max HP, but I'm just trying to increase what their max HP is. Alright, one step ahead. Yeah, I just need to wait for old boy to come out of his guard. Mr. Helio. I'd rather not attack into his default. Right, there's the Banishra. Decent damage. There it is again. Oh, that's, uh, that's a lot of attacks, but that's why we have better than ever. It allows me to get quite a bit of HP going. Alright, double cross cut. Counter physical attacks, but that's okay. Because that's pretty much how I'm trying to deal with his counters. I'm just trying to out-damage him. As long as I can out-damage him, I'll be fine. But right, Gloria, do you get to take a turn? 
Okay, yeah, Gloria does get to take her turn because it's the boss defaulted there. Um, that's no, just Kiragi again. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna use Defender of the People. This will allow me to block some of the attacks that Gladys does when she's attacking my teammates. Alright, what do we got? Yep, here it is. Solid states! Alright, so yeah, she's gonna protect Seth this time. And my revenge can proc off of these as well, so... Getting the extra BP for blocking is pretty cool, but I can only block so many attacks. After that, she starts attacking my teammates. But hey, nobody died that time, so that's really, really good. Shows the power of the shield master there. Alright, let's do a couple of cross cuts. Ugh, why do you have to target Adele of all people? That's fine, that's fine. Let's see, how much... BP or uh, physical attack increase I have. All right. Yeah, I'm going into the red here. Let's do it. We're just going to increase our damage as much as we can because I need the boss to go down. All right, Seth is going to go first. That's fine. Yeah, Benediction into Kiraga. All right, Adele is a nice buffer. Yeah, I'm hoping this will be enough to take him out. Do I do the other attack as well? But I won't get the crit increase. Yeah, no, I want my crit increase. Oh, he's so low. I gotta knock him out here. I have to. Alright, regeneration. And that's gonna proc. Okay. This is gonna hurt! Solid states. Alright, Elvis is dead. Seth is almost dead. Nah, 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 nah. This guy is going down, if it's the last thing I do. Alright, just all the cross cuts. If it's the last thing I do. He only has 420 HP. I don't have to do all that. Alright, alright. Let's, uh, let's take this slow. Let's... Raise Elvis, and let's cast Disaster. Should do it. Yo, oh, fantastic. I was very scared of casting Disaster while the boss was still alive. Because he can uh, counter with the Banishra, and I can't really take too many of those. But now we are only fighting Gladys, so my strategy is going to change quite a bit. Uh, now I'm going to be using those disasters a lot more, so Adele is not going to be my main damage dealer anymore. Now she's just going to be trying to increase the damage of my casters. But I need to recover first. My BP is in the red, I have low HP, low MP, everything's not looking so great. But yeah, let's try to get everybody in a nice spot. Alright, so we're going to need to throw up some ethers. Let's do that. One for you. One for you. Alright, I forget. Do I just start disastering? Is that fine? <laughs> Why does that cost 100 MP? Oh, well, let's find out. 1880. 1750. But yeah, that is increasing her BP, which is really bad. I needed Gloria to do her thing first. That would have been the way to do this. <laughs> Goodbye, Elvis. Goodbye, Adele. Alright, that's fine. Just raise both of them. Yeah, don't use disaster until everybody's ready. Alright. So this time, instead of doing all that, let's go for a work your magic, right? Increase my magical damage that I can inflict. Alright, she's just attacking in the Seth, gives him some BP. Do you like having BP? Yeah, she's at zero herself, that's good. Alright, let's ether up. Uh, Adele, you could ether Seth, I'd be nice. 
And yeah, let's go ahead and lower her magical defense. Because uh, it deals more damage in... Like, I get more damage out of increasing my damage through buffs than I do lowering the opponent's magical defense. But, you know, I'm just working with what I have at the moment. <laughs> Adele is no bard. Okay, let's see. She's at zero. It's so crazy. I guess I should just Defender of the People and go ahead and attack. Start going in there. Alright, let's Disaster. Yeah, 2,100. 2,400. Ah, she went into default. She didn't get the procs. That was fortuitous. Appreciate that. Um, what do we do here? I need to just pass turn. I can't default because she gains BP off of that. Yeah, let's just either. Yeah, I don't want to physically attack her either. That would be bad. Yeah, just either yourself, I guess. Yeah, I guess I can just indefensible teal. Or zappable, actually. Yeah, indefensible teal is the defense one. We don't do that anymore. She's still defending, so I can't do that. Let's just go for the work your magic. Being able to protect my allies is so important. Ugh, she knocked out both of them? Yeah, she used a new ability that uh, deals a lot of single target damage. You hate to see it. Alright, let's go ahead and revive both of these people. I have so many Phoenix Sounds. I have a million Phoenix Sounds and a million Ethers. They are integral to me being able to do good in this fight. Yep, Solid Stance. Yeah, the Solid Stance is the one where she does all the uh, physical attacks. Like her basic attacks are times two in that stance, so it's very, very tricky. What do I do? A single target Kiraga on Gloria. Oh, she has 8,000 HP. Let's go. I think she might be able to defend a thing or two. Elvis goes through the MP faster because he doesn't have MP Saver. Yeah, Fur Fold Fury. That's that single target attack. Deals quite a bit of damage. Um, let's just Kiraga Elvis here. Give him a lot of extra bonus HP. Yeah, now I should be going in. I should have went in on that last turn, actually. That one's 600. Uh, yep, always defender of the people. <laughs> always defend those people. They need to be defended. Good stuff. Man, that does so much damage. But yeah, the boss is getting pretty low at this point. Only 9,000 HP. Alright. Gosh darn boss. So why do you have to why do you have to buff her, man? Yo, look at that. She's max BP right now. Yeah, this is not gonna finish her off. Alright, here we go. Furfold Fury, that knocks out Gloria completely. Oh, that's not good. Solid right style. Sheesh. Very painful. <laughs> I don't have enough for disaster, but yeah, she has 77 HP. Yo, I'm not having both of my teammates not get a uh, XP for this. No, no, no. Y'all worked hard for this fight. Y'all deserve the XP too. Alright, yeah, nah. Give me, give me the... Uh, yeah, mini ether is enough. And finish it off with a disaster. Let's go. Oh, that was such a difficult fight! My goodness, dude. Alright, so that has been me on my guide for fighting Helio and Gladys. Hopefully you guys found it useful. Um, I think just as long as you have physical attackers that have the counter savvy ability, you're able to knock out Helio without too much problem. And then for fighting Gladys, I think Disaster is a great spell. So, you know, you have Red Mage. If you don't have that leveled up, you can just use the Black Mage instead. Or you can rely on your physical abilities. I just think they're a little bit weaker. But, uh, yeah. Either way, that's going to do me. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Um, if you use a different strategy yourself, please let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Bravely Default 2 videos going forward. Alright, peace.